What's going on, guys? I am Jada Black. Shout out to everyone that's tuning in. And we got some uh, late breaking news. Apparently, reportedly, because I've been looking at different websites to really confirm this. But Deion Sanders has separated from his longtime girlfriend, Tracy Edmonds. They have been dating for a while. I think ever since Dion broke up with Pilar, uh, they pretty much were a couple. And they've been together for a long time, ever since Dion was a high school coach, right? Or even maybe before then, right? Uh, they've separated. Now, I'm going to go into why I feel like this relationship is over and why I feel like the fact that Dion has not married her plays a huge role into this because I don't think Dion wants to get married. I really don't. I think after the failed experiment that he had with Pilar, I don't think he wants to get married anymore. He was also, I think he was married twice. I believe Dion was married twice. And I'm also going to talk about Dion is having a very tough year. Dion is having a very tough year. Colorado is not playing very well. They're losing players. They're losing coaches. They're losing recruits. It is not going very well in Colorado. And I am sure that it has caused a very stressful situation with him and his family. You know why? Because his sons are on the team. His family is basically a part of what he does, the athletic program. I believe his eldest son does uh, social media work for him. I know his, uh, his daughter's around as well. You know, Colorado, what he's doing at Colorado is a family thing. And when you have that team struggling, struggling like they are, I'm pretty sure it, it's caused a strain, right, uh, on the family. Because everything that they're doing at Colorado, the, the family's involved. And I'm not going to say this is what broke up the marriage, but you also got to look at the fact that he is not trying to marry her. I don't even think they're engaged to each other. <laughs> and I could be wrong. But I don't think they're engaged. And the crazy thing about this is that she's been so supportive of Dion. She's been right there with Dion the whole way. She's been right there with him. I've watched those video vlogs of, of Dion getting hired at Colorado. Him bringing the family up there. Tracy up there. His son's up there. And it just seemed like everything is going good, you know, personally. But... I guess it wasn't. Maybe, you know, he's in he's living in Colorado. She's not. And again, coaching takes a toll on you. But this is why coaching should be for the coach. So a lot of times you can't bring your family into coaching with you because it can cause a strain on everybody. Sometimes you have to have that balance, right? You got your work life and then you got your home life. But Dion brought a lot of that home with him, probably. I'm not saying that he got into it, but I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is the man is coaching high-level college football, and it's not going well. And again, I'm not a Dion hater. I'm not a Dion hater at all. But I think there are many factors. Tracy Edmonds, even at her age, is still an attractive woman. Still an attractive woman. Now... I'm looking up some things. So it, it does say that they were, that they were engaged, that she is his fiance, but I don't think that Dion wanted to marry her. I mean, she's very nice to look at even after all these years, but Dion still does not want to walk down that aisle with her. And I could see that being a problem. All right. I think she's tired of being his fiance and girlfriend. All right. According to The Spun, Deion Sanders and his longtime girlfriend have broken up. The Colorado Buffaloes head coach and his longtime girlfriend, Tracy Edmonds. And by the way, she still has her ex-husband's last name. That's crazy. Announced on Sunday night that they have decided to end their relationship. Edmonds shared the news on Sunday. Say to everyone who has been there for us, supported us and shown us love. We have mutually decided that it is best for us to move forward in life as friends and have made this decision with love in our hearts and respect for each other and appreciation for the time we've shared together. Please keep us in your prayers. 
as we go through the transition. Thank you for being there for us all these years. We love you and appreciate you so much, she wrote. I don't know if Dion's put up anything, but okay, say so he's released a statement. This is her Instagram statement. And this is what Dion Sanders had to say. All right. Love you, Tracy. And you've been a true blessing to me. I appreciate the times we've shared and the laughs we've had. You are an amazing woman and a tremendous mother. God bless you with every endeavor and every step you take. You are her, Tracy Mack, he wrote. And that is Tracy, and I believe that is Dion's medical, head medical person, I believe, on the team. Because she was with them when he met with those doctors, if any of y'all follow his vlogs. So that's pretty much it on the statements. So they have separated. They have separated. Again, I, I think that this was probably a long time coming because I just don't see Dion marrying. And again... You know, Tracy's not bad to look at at all. I don't think Tracy's going to have a hard time finding another man. You know, I don't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And the thing is, Dion has always had attractive women. You know what I'm saying? And he wants to focus on making, making it work career-wise. I just don't think marriage is in the cards. Even though she's his fiance, I just don't think that he was ready uh, to take that step because he had already done it. And, and I think that he just didn't want to do it again. And y'all got to understand something. A lot of men out here are going to chase their passions. His passion is to be a high level football coach, whether it's in division one college, it could be in the NFL, right? But last season took a toll on him. He already has had the health issues in regards to his foot, Right. We've seen no, the, we've seen that chronicled. This relationship has probably been over for quite some time, but they still support each other. But I could see a situation where they've probably been living separately. I still remember when they, they had that reality show some years back. This is when Shador and Shiloh was in high school. And he I believe he was coaching them, right? And I still saw their relationship dynamic and um, it seemed like everything was good, but things change, you know, he goes, coaches Jackson state. Now he's at Colorado. It, it comes with your time. You, you, you got to give more when you're on high level college football. And maybe it could be a situation where she's tired of just being his fiance, girlfriend, seeing him whenever he has free time, because he's in you know, Colorado coaching. Now I don't, now maybe she wasn't living there. Maybe she was back home where they were before uh, he went to an either Jackson state or a Colorado. And maybe she just doesn't want to be in the background anymore. A coach's wife. Maybe she wants to do something else, but I just don't think that Dion wanted to marry again. I think he got engaged to, you know, to sort of symbolically show that he cares. But I just, he done been married before. I, a lot of guys get married before. They don't want to get married again. Because if Dion wanted to marry, he would have married her by now. Now, people say, well, maybe she held off. I don't believe that. I don't believe that at all. I don't believe that at all. I just think Dion was the one who didn't want to get married. I think he was okay with the way things were. And she wasn't. And I think that he wants to totally focus on football and not focus on trying to make the marriage work anymore. And she's just, I guess she's going to move on. But this is where we are. You know, it, it to me, it seems like Dion chose his passion. It seemed like he, he chose his passion for football over trying to make this marriage work. Y'all can say whatever y'all want. It takes a strong marriage to be able to, for a coach to be able to coach at high level college football, high level Division one college football is a different beast and your time is consumed. You have a lot of responsibilities and, and there are women who are up for that. And there are women that aren't. And if your marriage was already on the rocks, 
Look at the season he had at Colorado. That tells you everything you need to know. It does. Could you see how good everything was with them when he was at Jackson State? He gets to Colorado his first year, and now the marriage has completely fell apart before the Christmas. They didn't even wait till after Christmas. Do y'all understand? They didn't even wait until after Christmas. They did this right at the start of December. So let me know what y'all think in the comment section. But let me know your thoughts, like this video, and share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Twitter X, Instagram, Patreon. I'll see y'all next one.